Should you be recording your content in 1080p or 4K? We're going to review the pros and cons of both and help you decide which is best for you. Hey everyone, I'm Mike from Big Byte and today I'm going to be using an iPhone 10s and an old MacBook Air from 2018 to demonstrate. When you hear 1080p or 4K, we are talking about the resolution of your video recording or how many pixels are making up your image. 4K is 3840 by 2160, while 1080p is 1920 by 1080. This means that 4K has four times the amount of pixels as 1080p. 4K footage is a lot more clear or sharp than 1080p footage. However, it tends to have larger file sizes compared to 1080p and also requires you to have a, a beefier computer to edit the footage. Don't worry, don't worry. In a little bit, I will show you how to optimize your project in DaVinci Resolve to make editing 4K footage on your computer much easier. So stick around. I personally tend to record my footage in 4K and post to YouTube in 1080p. What? Why? because 4K footage gives me more flexibility while I edit my videos. Having four times the amount of pixels allows me to zoom in much more and not sacrifice quality. If you are a one person film crew, this is incredibly helpful for things like dynamic zooms or pans that you could do in post-production. Check out this example of 4K footage versus 1080p to see what I mean. to YouTube in 1080p for a few reasons. Since I typically zoom in on my 4K footage, it means the output isn't true 4K. In addition to that, using 1080p means my output file size is much smaller. Also, from looking at StatCounter's global statistics, most people won't have a device that truly displays anything better than 1080p. Does this mean you need to record at 4K and post in 1080p like me? Absolutely not. You do not need to obsess over 4K, 6K, or 12K while you're getting started. You just need to start making content with what you have. If that means you're making everything in 1080p, then so be it. Work with what you have and avoid gas. That's gear acquisition syndrome. Not what I get after I eat Chipotle. Just one Chipotle burrito can leave up to a quarter cup of underwear blood. You really want to think about how your content will be consumed. If it is going to be streamed online, then 1080p is usually a great option. Now I know I promised I'd show you how to make editing 4K footage easier on your computer. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and let me show you how to do that. And I'm in DaVinci Resolve looking at the HD clip and as I scrub, you can see most of the frames in the preview screen are loading just fine. And everything is hunky dory and we're good. Now I'm gonna scroll over and look at the 4K clip at 30 frames per second and when I scrub, Ugh, yeah, you can see the preview chugging. So to fix this, I'm gonna go to File and then Project Settings. And I'm gonna scroll down until I see the optimized media and render cache and update my media resolution to half and update this to 422 proxy. Now you can leave it as is and it'll work just fine. Uh, working Files is also where you would change your folder if you wanna update your folder and then I will just click Save. So now I'm gonna go to the media pool and highlight all my clips and right click and click generate proxy media. And this is gonna lie to me and say it'll take two minutes, but it's really gonna take um, about 15 or so. And boom, we are all set. So I'll collapse the media pool and now you can see I'm gonna scrub on the 4K footage and look how fast that's loading. Everything is hunky dory. And thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click here if you're interested in seeing more tutorials on DaVinci Resolve and consider subscribing to our channel if you're a content creator.